Hi everyone, welcome to the 8th lecture of the series Karman filter using MATLAB. In this lecture, we discuss the numerical elimination and simulation of Kalman smoother. Here is the overview. We start with the Kalman smoother algorithm. Then we move on to the simulation of the Kalman smoother and the numerical examples. The Kalman smoother algorithm consists of two stages. In the first stage, which is also known as the forward pass, we compute the estimate xk given k minus 1 hat, xk given k hat, pk given k minus 1, and pk given k for the dimension k equal to 1 to n using the Kalman filter algorithm. Now, in the second stage, which is also known as the backward pass, we improve the estimate using all this information. This algorithm consists of a backward recursion in which we start from k equal to n minus 1 and go backwards. Then for each time instant, we compute the smoother gate LSK using this equation, using which we compute the smoother estimate SK given n hat and the variance PK given n using the Kalman smoother equation and the difference regarding equation. Next, we move on to the simulation of the Kalman smoother. For the Kalman smoother simulation, we start with a linear time invariant system for which the system matrix, input matrix, and output matrix are chosen as in equation number 1. The simulation parameters are chosen as in equation number 2, which is same as the Kalman filter example. Here, we select the initial state x0, the disturbance vector dk, and the noise vector vk as Gaussian random vectors. Figure 1 shows the simulation response of the LTA system with the Kalman smoother, which contains the plots for the actual states and the estimated states, and the diagonal elements of the smoother gain LSK and the regarding matrix PK given n. Here, the plots for the diagonal elements of LSK and PK given n shows that LSK and PK given n converge to some fixed matrices in steady state. From the plots of PK given n, we can observe that the variance of both X1K and X2K converges to some value around 0.5. Figure 2 shows the diagonal elements of the regarding matrices pk given k minus 1, pk given k and pk given n. Here we can observe that the value of the diagonal elements of pk given n is lesser than the diagonal elements of pk given k which is lesser than the diagonal elements of pk given k minus 1. This basically implies that the variance of the state estimation error with the Kalman smoother will be the minimum. Next, we discuss the simulation of the linear time varying system for which the system matrix, input matrix, and output matrix are chosen as in equation number 3 and 4. The simulation parameters are chosen as in equation number 5, which is similar as in the Kalman filter example. Now, for the linear time varying system, we obtain the simulation response of the Kalman smoother as in figure 3. Here we can observe that the Kalman smoother estimates the states with sufficient accuracy. And the plots of the diagonal elements of LSK and PK given it shows that here the gain matrix and regarding matrix elements does not converge. This is because of the time varying nature of AK and BK. Next, we consider the second example of the linear time varying system for which the system matrix, input matrix, and output matrix are chosen as in equation number 6 and 7, and the simulation parameters are chosen as in equation number 8. Now, figure 4 shows the simulation response of the linear time varying system with the Kalman smoother. Here we can observe that the matrix LSK converges to some fixed matrices. The elements of PK given n also converges, but we can see that there is a transient part in the beginning and also at the end, and this is because of the backward recursion. The MATLAB codes for the simulation can be downloaded from the link given in the description. Finally, we can have some remarks based on the simulation results. We observe that for linear time invariant system, the gain matrix LSK and the regarding matrix elements PK given N converges to some fixed matrices L and P. Whereas for linear time invariant systems, the convergence of LSK depends on the convergence of AK and BK. And the Kalman smoother gives the estimate of the state vector with the lesser variance than Kalman predictor and filter. But we have observed that in the case of Kalman smoother, we cannot estimate the states in real time. Therefore, Kalman smoother is used for applications in which the real-time estimation of the state is not required and generally used for post-processing of the states. That completes this lecture. Thanks for listening.